All right, hello everybody. Welcome to yet another video about hiking. <laughs> I literally just got home from my through hike of the GR20 and the Tour du Mont Blanc. Literally, I just ran up the stairs and here I am. It's raining in Belgium. Great. Okay, so over the last few weeks, I've gotten a lot of questions regarding the stuff I took with me on the GR20 and the Tour du Mont Blanc. Let's go. Maybe let's start with um, what I'm wearing right now. For traveling back home, I am wearing this lovely outfit, which is actually my sleeping outfit. This is not what I wear while I'm hiking. So I have this uh, long sleeve shirt of Colombia. It's nice. I have these pants, yoga pants, I think, from Nike. I have a um, sports bra. Ta -da! Uh, this is just a bra without any metal plastic stuff on it. It's all just soft fabrics, which is nice because then no hard stuff can bother your body. Of course, I'm wearing underwear and socks and for my shoes I wore these hiking boots from Mindel. This is what I wore on the GR20 because on GR20 you have a lot of stones um, and well you need a lot of grip on your feet. On the Tour du Mont Blanc I used this pair of shoes. These are trail runners and I am is very much in love with them. They are super light, super easy to put on. These are from Salomon. Salomon. They have this um, this thing to uh, close them. They are not waterproof, but they dry really fast. And the sole is also, as you can see, quite good. So yeah, I used trail runners on the Tour du Mont Blanc and I used hiking boots on the GR20. Actually, I also saw a lot of people on the GR20 who wore trail runners, so it's possible. People do it. Let's get into the pack. Oh, this pack is amazing. This is actually a new one. It's the Atom Plus. Uh, from Adam Packs and it's a 35 liter backpack with two side pockets which are each um, two and a half liters so all in total the pack is 40 liters. Adam Packs is a company ran by Tom. He makes all the packs himself and he did an amazing job really i just sent him the specific length of my torso and he made this pack on the length of my torso so it fits wah, perfectly it has two uh, pockets on the front here just on your shoulder straps uh, it has two pockets on the side it has one big mesh pocket on the front it's made of waterproof fabric but the seams aren't waterproof so you still would need a pack liner but most of the rain if it rains will just drip off so you don't need a rain cover for your pack which is amazing i got one with a hip belt the only thing that failed on it is the hip belt pocket the elastic that makes it attached to the hip belt broke. And then the last thing that I really love about this pack is that it has a pocket on the bottom. What I put in there, you will um, see in a minute. So, outside of my pack, what do I have? First thing, I have Emil. Emil is my uh, little polar bear. Hi! and he was my little buddy on the trail. Um, I also added these um, shoulder strap pads from z -Packs. I actually don't know if, it's, if it was necessary to do this, but um, on my former Osprey pack, they helped for pain on my collarbone. So I thought, well, why not just 
take them. On my other shoulder strap pocket, I have my phone and some earphones. Uh, yeah. I have my trekking poles, which were mostly not on my pack, but on me. Great poles. They've been through some hikes and they haven't broken yet. Please don't break now because I said you aren't broken yet. I want you to live long. I have a water bottle of one liter. I had one on the other side here. So I had one liter and one liter, which makes two liters of water. For me, it was enough. Some people needed more. For me, it was enough. Then here, on this hike, I thought, let's try something new. I tried cold soaking. If you don't know what it is, basically it's just that you don't carry a stove with you and that you just use a pot for uh, making dinners. So what I mostly did was uh, mixing couscous with some nice herbs. The nicest ones I could find were fajita herbs. Amazing. I added some seeds and nuts and some water and I just let it soak for 20 minutes and then it's ready to eat. That's mostly what I did. Then here on the other side we have sunscreen. This um, is very much necessary on the trail. I had SPF 20. I don't burn easily. It's true, I don't burn easily. So 20 was enough for me, but most people carry 30 or 50 on trail. Okay, so next we have the mesh pocket. Oh. The mesh pockets. Firstly, I had the guide of the GR20. On the Tour du Mont Blanc, I had another guide. These two are pretty good guides. Probably not the best out there, so don't really look for these specific ones. But it's they're fine. They're fine. They're quite heavy, so keep that in mind. Yeah. A guide. Oh, this is lost. This is normally in my uh, backpack, but now it's here. I don't know why. It's a dual port charger. Then I have my water filter. You could probably do both trails without one, but I just like to have it. It's not heavy. If there's water that you're not so sure about, if it's clean enough, you just use your filter and you're all fine. <laughs> Next. Ooh, la, la. Oh. <laughs> Next thing is a gorilla pod for uh, my camera. Then, oh wow, I still got a breakfast. Breakfast, anybody? And then I have my steaks. I always carry nine, but I only uh, use eight. But if one gets lost, I'm not in trouble. They're from an independent Dutch company. If you're Dutch or you live around the area, give them a go. They're from Haringboer. Okay, what else do I have in here? Just a bunch of wrappers and some bars. Really? Yeah, some bars. Then on the bottom of my pack, um, I actually keep a little plastic Ziploc bag with toilet paper, my toothbrush and toothpaste. I always find that in the morning I pack up my tent before I brush my teeth and I just don't like that I have to dig through my bag to get my toothbrush to brush my teeth in the morning. So I just Keep it on the outside of my pack, it works fine. Same with uh, toilet paper. You wanna have that as quick as possible when you need it, of course. Okay, some other snacks. Um, during the day, I would keep my snacks in the bottom pocket so that if I am hungry while hiking, I can just grab some on the bottom of my pack. Also here are some wrappers. So that was everything on the outside of my pack. Then we have my rain jacket. This is still the same um, 
It's quite heavy, but it's a nice one. It's from I Ida Eider. And then I have this new pad, sleeping pad, which I am really happy with. It's the pad that almost everybody has. I cut it just to my knees. Man, this is an amazing pad. It's quite comfortable. First two nights were rough. After that, it was just all fine. And I love the fact that you don't have to blow this up at the end of the day and that you don't have to put five minutes worth of time into packing this up in the morning. It's just, mm, it's so fast. I love it. Woo. So on the inside of my pack, this pack has a roll top top thing and the first thing I um, always have when I open my pack is my tent. This is the z duplex. I still have it. I still love it. I still use it. It's really lightweight. I put it in a big plastic bag because I lost the stuffing bag for it. But actually I love this big plastic bag because you don't have to stuff so much in the morning and it can like adjust to the shape it has to be in your bag which is also nice Happy. okay then we are like in this area here I carry my food bag this is just all leftovers it's also got a spark in it and yeah just food food for me on these trails was mostly Couscous, cereal bars, bread with Nutella, tortillas with peanut butter, that's it. And then we have clothes. <laughs> these are super dirty. Okay, so I have these uh, hiking shorts. They're great. They're from Only and they're great. Then I have this shirt, which is also from Only. It's in this fabric that dries really fast and it's super lightweight and it's just everything you wish for in a shirt for hiking. Then I have some socks. I am gonna throw them there. Oh! <gasps> Okay, so the socks I used were from Felke. I also use a sock liner in my normal hiking socks to prevent blisters. This really helped on the Tour du Mont Blanc because there I didn't have any blisters, but because my boots were slightly too small on the DR20, I got a lot of blisters, so it didn't work. So in total, I have four pairs of socks but it's actually two sets of socks okay some uh spare underwear and then i have my down jacket i also used this as my pillow so i just roll it up close the zipper and roll it up really nicely and it worked fine with a great pillow then in my pack, I have the last couple of things and they are actually in a dry bag because these are the things I don't really need during the day and if it rains, I want them to be super dry. Okay, first we have a pair of goose down socks from z -Packs. They keep my feet warm on colder nights. Not super necessary on these trails though but i'm a cold sleeper so it was nice to have but not necessary then i had my power bank i used this anchor power core 20,100 milliamp and so uh in the little sack for it i have an iphone cable and a USB to micro USB cable so I could charge my phone and my camera at once because it has two outputs as well. And then I had my ditty bag. 
Ugh, my duty bag is just a bag with all different kinds of bits and pieces that I needed on the trail. Yesterday it ripped and I haven't repaired it since, so it's still ripped, but normally this is not ripped. So, uh, I have a night lamp. Ha! Uh, it has a white light, but also a red light. So if you don't want to bother the people sleeping next to you, you use the red light. Most people seem to not know this on the GR20. It drove me crazy. <laughs> okay, then I have a little pod of uh, hair cream. Then I have a lens solution product. Do you call it that? I wear lenses, so I need that. A Lush bar. So when I get to town and I want to take a shower, I can take a shower. Biodegradable soap. Some earbuds. Some sewing stuff. Some Compete blister plasters some paint colors and an extra memory card in an extra bag. A hairbrush with a little mirror, a little pot for my lenses, a lighter, didn't use it, but always nice to have, I guess. An extra battery for my camera, some scissors for your nails, then I have a spare lens and I have two earplugs. Really, on a GR20, you need this. And that is my ditty bag. And then we've already come to the last thing I took with me, and that is, of course, my beloved quilt. It's really warm, but it's a quilt. Mostly I just use it as a blanket. I love it. It's lightweight. If you don't know what a quilt is, just look for some videos online. A lot of people have made some comparisons of sleeping bags and quilts, so then you can see if a quilt is maybe an option for you. Okay, I am finished! I will um, repack everything and put some stuff in a washing machine because boy oh boy, you guys can be very happy that, <laughs> that a camera doesn't capture smell. <laughs> that being said, thank you for watching. If you want to know the specific names of the items, I will put them all in the description below. And if you want to do one of these hikes, Go for it! Great! Nice! Do it! Have fun! You'll be fine! Take your time! Bye! Bye! Oops! Forgot to mention what is in the hip belt pocket. So, in the hip belt pocket is normally my camera, which I'm filming with now. It's the Canon G7X Mark II. Then I also have a pen, because sometimes I like to take notes in my guide. And I had my wallet, which is just a little Ziploc bag, which has my identification card, my debit card, and some cash. And that's all. I took with me now for reels. Okay, bye!